Tesla Model 3 Highland Sighting Hints at Front Bumper Upgrades A recent sighting of a Tesla Model 3 Project Highland Edition teases upgrades for the sedan's front bumper. Tech content creator Colin W. from the Bay Area recently spotted a Tesla Model 3 Highland Edition. He saw the upgraded Model 3 sedan cruise through Palo Alto, California. Colin shared pictures of the Tesla Model 3 through his X account Y2K Colin and asked his followers if they spotted any changes. Tesla Model 3 Project Highland just spotted in Palo Alto, California. Most of the pictures the tech content creator collected showed a Model 3 with the front and back bumper covered. The photos hint that Tesla changed or upgraded the Highland Model 3's front and back, keeping most of the all-electric sedan's body the same. The front bumper of the Model 3 drew the most attention. The Tesla Model 3 Highland Edition looks a little longer in the nose or front bumper compared to the version currently out on the market. There also seems to be a camera at the tip of the Model 3's nose, similar to the Cybertruck. The new camera placement hints that the Model 3 Highland is fully equipped for Tesla Vision and no longer has ultrasonic sensors. The new Model 3 will likely be equipped with Tesla's hardware 4.0. The Tesla Model 3 Project Highland unit was spotted in winter testing in New Zealand earlier this month. The electric sedan is going the rest of Tesla's S3XY lineup at the Southern Hemisphere Proving Ground SHPG in New Zealand. The Model 3 Highland vehicle was covered in black at the time, making any changes indiscernible. Tesla is expected to start production on Project Highland units soon. During the company's Q2 2023 earnings call, Tesla executives noted that factory upgrades might affect its production during the third quarter. We continue to target 1.8 million vehicle deliveries this year. Although, we expect that Q3 production will be a little bit down because we've got summer shutdowns, for a lot of factory upgrades. So, just probably a slight decrease in production in Q3 for sort of global factory upgrades, said Elon Musk. What do you think of the Tesla Model 3 Project Highland unit? Source. Reposted and summarized from Maria Murano at Teslarati. Tesla Model X spotted benchmarking by Ford. Ford constantly monitors the development of Tesla cars, testing its various models. This time, the automaker was seen to be benchmarking Model X something that seems to have never been done before. Tesla is clearly a leader among electric vehicle manufacturers. It was the Texas manufacturer who started the revolution and ensured the widespread acceptance of EVs. Tesla has sold millions of EVs over the years and is on track to deliver over 1.8 million units this year alone. Consumers have shown a clear preference for Tesla, and competing automakers are wondering. How did Tesla achieve this? Part of the answer to this question is hidden in the depths, namely in the very cars Tesla makes. Therefore, it is tested by various automakers, and Ford is no exception. Over the past couple of years, the company has been seen testing the Model 3 sedan, Model Y crossover, and the larger Model S plaid sedan. However, the company has never been seen benchmarking the Model X. It seems that this has changed. Ford Authority, which keeps track of Ford updates, spotted the manufacturer benchmarking the Tesla Model X. It was a dual-motor all-wheel drive variant, not a plaid, in solid black with standard 20-inch Cyberstream wheels. So far, Ford has not had an electric car that could directly compete with the Model X. Its Mustang Mach-E is a competitor to the Model Y which is the best-selling car in the world in the first half of 2023. At the moment, it is unclear whether Ford is preparing to develop a new car or is trying to figure out the super technologies that Tesla uses to produce its cars. Source. Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. 
Tesla owners stage impressive Cybertruck-inspired light show. Dozens of Tesla vehicles took part in a huge Cybertruck-inspired light show that kicked off this year's Tesla Takeover event in San Luis Obispo, California this past weekend. Video of the rather impressive light show was captured from the sky by a drone. With all the car's lights being reportedly synchronized to Europe's famous The Final Countdown song. A nod to the pickup's imminent start of production for customer units. There's no audio in the video embedded below, published by user Billy Kyle on his Twitter account. But I have also conveniently included an embed of the song right below so that you can experience the show as it was intended by the organizers. The participants very likely made good use of the synchronized light show feature that was bundled with the holiday update released back in December 2022 which allows users to schedule an identical show to start simultaneously on multiple cars. It's not a life-saving feature at any stretch of the imagination, but it makes for a good conversation starter and a useful addition for fan events such as Tesla Takeover. Touted as the largest event for Tesla owners and enthusiasts in North America. The 2023 edition of The Gathering ran for three days this past weekend at the Madonna Inn Fields in San Luis Obispo, California, and had about 2,300 people attend. Among the speakers were Mae Musk, Elon Musk's mother, Sandy Monroe from Monroe & Associates, Gary Black from The Future Fund, Kyle Connor from Out of Spec Reviews, and John Stringer from Tesla Owners Silicon Valley as well as Aptera co-founder and company CEO Chris Anthony. In fact, even though the event bears the Tesla brand name, models from Porsche, Rivian, and Lucid were also expected for the event, bringing together EV enthusiasts from all markets. Getting back to the light show video, it's a good thing that the Cybertruck is as angular as it is making it very easy to position the cars on the ground in such a way that it resembles the pickup's outline from above. If Tesla went with another one of the several design proposals for the Cybertruck, it could have been a different story altogether. Source. Reposted and summarized from Yulia Nistrin at Inside EVS. See Tesla Cybertruck assembled by hand at Texas Gigafactory. The new Tesla Cybertruck is still very much in the release candidate RC phase. With a new leaked video published on the Tesla Cybertruck Facebook group by Shane Eckert. Showing a single unit being assembled by hand on the floor of the company's Gigafactory in Texas, where full-scale production is scheduled to begin next year. The short video was shot from the passenger seat of a shop floor transport vehicle and gives us a glimpse of a yet-to-be-finished Cybertruck body surrounded by Tesla employees who are doing their part in assembling the all-electric truck. The vehicle is not on an automated assembly line as is the case with the Mark's other passenger vehicles, but rather on a trolley that can make it easier to move the body from one section of the factory to another. It's hard to notice fine details, but from what we can gather, the pickup has its interior already installed, as well as its windshield. At the same time, the doors and all the other bolt-on body parts are still missing, probably because the workers still had to fit interior pieces or accessories that sit under the bodywork. It's worth noting that this approach is generally used by all the major automakers out there. Assembling a new model by hand and working out all the problems before the model goes on the automated assembly line to be produced for customer deliveries. Judging from previous official photos released by Tesla, the metal structure of the Cybertruck is already put together by various robots. But the final assembly now seems to be in the hands of employees, quite literally. During the company's Q2, 2023 earnings call, it was announced that the all-electric pickup is currently in the pre-production phase at Giga Texas. With initial customer intent production on track to begin later this year. At the same time, Tesla claimed that the much anticipated and at the same time delayed Cybertruck is the first sub 19 feet truck with four doors and a bed that's longer than six feet. 
As far as we know, Cybertruck will be the first sub-19 foot truck fitting into a garage that has both four doors and a six foot bed, the company said. Both technologically and architecturally, this vehicle will break a lot of boundaries very much in line with how we think about vehicle engineering and manufacturing. The Cybertruck was unveiled back in 2019 and was supposed to enter production two years later, but the pandemic came and put the brakes on development. Now, almost four years after the reveal, the highly anticipated Angular truck is inching closer and closer to full-scale production. With Elon Musk saying that demand for it is so off the hook, you can't even see the hook. Source Reposted and summarized from Yulia Nistrin at Inside EVS. Tesla's Mohegan Sun deal in Connecticut aggravates auto dealerships. For the longest time, Tesla customers in Connecticut could only acquire their vehicles by going out of state. But with the EV maker's recent deal with the Mohegan tribe to build a showroom at the Mohegan Sun, an entertainment destination. Tesla customers in Connecticut would soon be able to test drive, purchase, and take delivery of their vehicles in the state. The deal was a huge victory for Tesla, considering that the EV maker has met numerous challenges in Connecticut in the past. Tesla has attempted to launch several initiatives to support its customers in the state over the years. But the company's efforts have consistently met opposition from organizations like the Connecticut Automotive Retailers Association CARA. As noted in a report from WTNH, state law in Connecticut requires vehicle makers to sell their products through dealerships. Newer car makers like Tesla, however, adopt a direct sales model, which means that they do not sell their vehicles through franchise dealers. This has resulted in companies like Tesla facing opposition when they try to set up shop in Connecticut. Tesla was able to get around these challenges by building its showroom on the Mohegan tribe's land. Kevin Lowry, the assistant general manager at Mohegan Sun, was optimistic about the deal. I'm extremely excited. You know Tesla's brand is one of a kind. While we align with many Connecticut laws and regulations by operating on sovereign land, we don't necessarily have to abide by every law and regulation, Lowry said. Governor Ned Lamont generally seemed supportive of the deal. I think it's within Mohegan Sun's right to do it. They are a sovereign nation, he said. Quite unsurprisingly, the deal has not been received warmly by Connecticut's dealerships. In a comment, Bradley Hoffman, the co-chairman of Hoffman Auto Group, explained that the group does not really have an issue with the Mohegan Sun. Its issues lie with Tesla, as the EV maker is evading the law. Our issue is with Tesla, and them frankly evading the law that is in Connecticut right now, Hoffman said. The executive noted that the Hoffman Auto Group does not believe dealerships in the state will be affected as they already sell over 65 types of electric cars in Connecticut. But he is concerned about consumers not having any dealership support. Also, that is a check and balance with the manufacturers themselves, Hoffman said. The upcoming Tesla showroom will be situated opposite Todd English's Tuscany restaurant. Vehicle deliveries will take place at the Sky Tower Valet, which is located nearby. Visitors will also be able to test drive popular Tesla models around the resort. Source. Reposted and summarized from Simon Alvarez at Teslarati. <laughs>